Hey, what's up everybody? This is Amondo21 and as you can see, we're playing a Mindscape Chris Roberts game. Can you guess what it is? Come on, you know what it is. You should know. Does uh, Matthew Lillard bring any, bring any bells to you? Yep. This, my friends, is Wing Commander by Chris Roberts. And um, last time I, I played this game was like in 1995, so I haven't, so I've forgotten about the controllers, about everything. But um, let's get started. Also, this game was released not just in the SNES; it was released on what the other consoles. So for that info, I'm gonna leave that in the description. So make sure to check it out. So let's start. Whoops, my fault. Here we go. Let's pick a handle. I usually pick Donovan, so let's go with that. And here we go. That's gonna be our name for now on. See Look at this. It looks like a mouse. It looks like a PC. Like if we were playing it on a PC with the mouse cursor, it looks sweet. Basically, if you click here, it takes you to the training simulator, in which you will get enemy after enemy. And you can also use the simulator to see how far you get. I never gotten that far. I've lasted at least 20 minutes before I get my ass handed to me. It is hard. Also, you can talk to. The, char the characters that are here sitting like this guy at the bar or these two over here paladin and angel who are eating and drinking short glass this guy is short glass I forgot to mention that you can also come to check the pilot's course over here as well as your own since we just started we are at the bottom so let's uh, go on our first mission and let me show you how to do that Basically, you move your mouse pad over here, or your cursor, sorry. Tap B, and there you go. I remember when I was a kid, I used to wonder, what the hell is this? I mean, they're all sleeping. And then, I mean, and it took me a while to figure it out. But, um, anyway, I'll let you guys figure out that on your own so you're gonna go here and shows you everything you got your medals so at the time we have nothing I have nothing so let's move on look at that on a spaceship and it's leaking so to go to a mission you go right here on this door so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave the text for about five six seconds that way you guys can see and read it and uh, if you are a, a slow reader then I suggest to pause the video and then read although you don't have to do it you could just skip and go straight into the gameplay so here we go Oh, that could be a big mistake, oh man. The rook is flying as wing leaders. And here we go, guys. The assignments. Damn right, I'm leading alpha wing. And whoa. Pretty partner. I remember uh, Angel. Her name is Angel, I think. She's Japanese. Here we go. See, this is basically what you have to do. You have to go to the nav points, check out what's going on there. But different missions, different things to do. 
Okay, so this this is what they're gonna tell us about the dangers. Now point two and three, so stay up. There are asteroids near now point two and three. Yeah, no questions. Oh, oh, Angel does have a question. It's a simple answer to that. You kill him. And then of course Beta Wing. And as you all know, since I'm Alpha, then he said Beta probably Gamma is next, but they don't show you that. And then we all have to return to the Tiger Squad. Sweet. Okay. Now this is one of my favorite parts. Where they send us out to the missions. Watch the cutscene. Look at this, it's so epic. It just hypes you up, gets you ready for the game. Like, yeah, we're gonna go out and shoot people. Yep, killer bees. And here we go. So let's see, I mean, I don't remember what the controllers do, so let's see. Okay, up goes down. Down goes up. Left goes left. Right goes right. Okay. It works like a, like a real airplane. So let's go. There we go. At least I remember to go to the nav points. So. Okay, Y is turbo. Okay, B fires those guns. I know A, so which means A is the one that fires the rockets. And of course, Y shows. Excuse me, I meant X shows us everything. This is code and have one. And then Oh shit. Okay, so R1 and L1 increase or excuse me, R and L, sorry. Increase the speed. Oh, what? Oh that's how you do it. Okay. So if you hold select and press L1. L1. Damn it, R. It swaps to this to the vehicle. And then how do you select an option here? Oh, you hold select and press X and select your your option. And then press X. Oh shit, here we go. The first wave of enemies. So at least I remember how to do this. Oh crap, that's the turbo button. What is that asshole? Oh, there it is. Come on. That's one down. See, if you notice to the left, there is a shield. If that shit goes down, you fuck. Ooh, I got it from far. Okay. Also, like holding select and L, see? Hit damage report. Just, okay, here we go. I'm not gonna use my rockets yet. No, I'm just more shit. Damn. Okay, we met the objective. Also, I remember something when you press, I think, select and Y. I believe it would like send you as close to the enemy as possible to the cut screen. I'm not gonna do that. So we're gonna play like the first. Oh shit! That's my partnership. Where would that ship go? Oh, I see it in the map. 
Let's go and look at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See that? I request that you attack the enemy. Okay, let's remove the auto targeting thingy. There you go. I like to know my distance. In an half point. Weapon. So I have a dart EF and my gun. It's a laser bolt. Oh shit, I forgot about the asteroid field. You do not want to speed through this asteroid field. Because if you do, you're going to smash into one of them. And then, if you do smash into one of them, you're going to get that sad funeral cutscene. I'll show you that later on, on the next Wing Commander video. Oh, move it. Or you could like be daring and throw a blow at <laughs> an astro like that, but I'm not gonna risk it again. Cause he'll be bad for business if, if I lose. Alright, here we go. Objective met. Let's go to the third objective. That's me. I didn't know I had to do this as a kid, so I was like just flying around. I'd lose all my fuel. And this game would piss me off. As a kid I never figured it out until like... Like in the year 2000 I got an emulator. And then I looked up on the internet what to do. But at least I can spare you guys all that stuff. Nope, move out of the way. Okay, so we have our over 30,000, I believe, miles to get there. Anyway, this game you should definitely have it in your on your SNES collection. <clears throat> There's also a second one, which uh, I'll cover later. Oh, here we go. Here we go, people. Enemies. There should be one. There you go. Come on. Sweet. Those little guys, you see. I mean, just look at my shield. It's like the left and the front is gone. The right and the back are still doing well. I still have all my rockets, so no problem. All right, we're about to reach now point three. So let's make it. Oh, come on. Oh, you little motherfucker. There we go. Now we can go home. To the tiger skull. Shit, another aspirin field. Also, as you as you progress, as you go farther and farther into the game, it will change from asteroids to minefields and quite the other hazards, not just asteroids. Also, when you're in the minefields, you're more likely to crash, so be careful there. Let's just finish this mission and get to the, to the rest. Whoa! You gotta hate these freaking minefields. I mean, asteroid fields. 
we filtered one of these uh, fields earlier and now we have to put up with another one oh okay we're through and we're near the claw oh yeah sometimes you're bound to find enemies near the tiger's claw so you may want to watch out also let me tell you the crucial thing how to end the mission because this is what frustrated me when I was a kid I didn't know how to get back in the claw so pay attention you have to wait until you're around 7,000, 6,000 feet from it and then hold select and then R okay hold on let's do it again let's wait for 5,000 okay right there and it's not there Oh, there we go. Tiger's Claw. Press X for that. Request landing. And there you go. And you've landed. Damn right, we got shot up. Yep. So by and destroyed by the enemies. Ooh, thank you for that. That's high praise coming from spirit. You should be proud, Donovan. Fuck yeah, I'm proud. Yeah, let's go over the mission report. <laughs> Hairballs. Yeah, I got five of them. Yep, Spirit didn't kill a single one. She didn't even back me up. Okay, so we're dismissed. And look at this. Now Spirit is here. Let's talk to her. See what I, what I tell you? She's from Japan. Konnichiwa. Which means hello in Japanese. Konosama is most pleased with your performance thus far. There was no need to praise me before him, though, honorable second lieutenant. Oh, you gotta love the Japanese. They are so well mannered. Well, most of them. There are still kids and teens out there which. Ugh. Okay. Let's uh, take the next mission. And look at this. Different people. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's go back to the officer's club for a second. And let's take a look at the pilot scores. And see, mine was updated to one mission and five kills. Nice. Alright. Let's go to the barracks again. And take the second mission. Mission briefing in your system. 40 minutes into the briefing. Damn! 40 minutes? Okay. We're in Epsilon Wing. We're gonna be scoring a Drayman to its jump point. So display Epsilon, please. Okay guys, basically there will be... We will rendezvous with it at... 
the minute we launch, okay? We're to score it to 9.1 and then on 9.2 it will initiate jump sequence. Sweet. And then once it's gone, we can come back home, okay? Which means to make sure it makes it, we have to destroy anything that tries to destroy it or get in the way. No, we're not. Okay. Start guys. Damn, I love this cutscene. Get to its destination and kill whoever gets the hell in a way. Look at that planet Earth. They're trying to make it look as cool as possible, but um, with the graphics we had back then, trust me, back then games like this, that's all we needed. And these days, if games don't have online play, people don't pick them up. I mean, I've gone to the stores and uh, I've seen games which are good and don't have online game and they're all there on the shelves. And games such as Call of Duty, Battlefield, or, or fighting games that have online are hard to find. But back then, we didn't, we didn't need that shit. And because of that, and because of not needing the online thing, here's what happened. The games were pretty damn, pretty damn long. Like for instance, Super Mario World took me hell to beat. But uh, let's go back to Wing Commander and uh, get this over with. We're almost at, this. oh here we go, 9.1 and we already have enemies. Start to kill them. That music when the enemies come is so epic. Tells me we cannot engage them not yet. Can't leave it. Uh oh. Who the fuck? Hold on. Whoa. Oh god. Okay. Damn, we're taking so much damage. I'm missing one gun. I'm so sorry about the barking you guys that's my little chihuahua Whew. if you guys if the, if the barking seemed a little annoying or if you're using like a headset to watch this video and the, <laughs> the barking all right oh we gotta go for the escort They might have sports, but wait for them. So 
Let's just okay. There they are. You're slow as fuck. Here we go. Now we go to destination point two. So we were going at about 150. 156 is good enough. All right, guys, that's all we have to do now. Make it to nap point two, and we're home free. Damn, but uh, the damage I took on that first little encounter with the enemies. Oh my god. Basically, what happened there, they used one ship as a distraction while the other one came and got me from behind. Freaking good strategy. And it worked for them. So let's see, my fuel is still good. My shields. Fuck. But the advantage of having only one gun is this that I can keep firing. It's actually better to have one gun just than having two because it consumes your blaster faster. Okay, we're almost there. Why well, we gotta get ready just in case an enemy pops up? Come on, come on. Nobody? Nobody? Although if I get hit pretty than hard, we're fucked. Oh shit. There's three this time. We gotta end this quickly. Okay, I'll use spirits like that. one down oh god there's more but it's enriching Spirit. Oh shit. Maybe we got one. Actually she did for once. Oh. Okay, here's the last one probably. Oh that one crashed into me. Oh, come on. That should be all of them. And we should be seeing the carrier making his jump. So let's see it, come on, make a jump. There we go, we made the jump.
Now just to save time, I'm gonna show you the cutscene that I was talking about earlier. So you press select, press turbo, and you get this. That will take us until there's about to be more enemies, but not that far. Okay, it didn't take us past the asteroid field. So we're gonna have to watch out right here before we smash into one of them and get killed. Yeah, blowing up the asteroids. How many of you, how many of you guys actually attempted to do it? Why well, you had the game on the NES? SNES, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shit, I was too close. Let's not play with fate no more. Oh, okay, maybe just once more. Not oh shit. That one didn't blow. Okay, we're getting closer to the tiger's claw. Come on, come on. Okay, that should be the final asteroid. Yep. Cool. Although you guys almost say this one time, I did get so fucking annoyed with this game because I couldn't figure it out and I blew up the tiger skull. Oh shit, let's see how close we are. Okay, it's nearly time to request permission for landing. It should pop out in a minute. Okay, I can't figure it out. It's not letting me... Oh, there you go, finally. It has to be a 5,000. Alright, here we go. 
let's see what the let's see if we get promoted glad to see you you made it back alive sir Damn right, we cover her well. I lost one gun, almost got killed. Yep, even though she only killed one of them. Hells, yes, that was, that was nice as flying. Yep, let's review the report. Yep. Look at four. We're taking all five out. Oh, this is good. Every time he says that I want to see you in my office, you could be either a promotion or you made it to the next part of the game. Let's see, what it is. Oh, let's go for the promotion. Here we go. The commander's office. Let it be promotion, 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 promotion. Come on, come on. Please promote me, please promote me. Personnel changes. Oh yes, which means we're gonna get a new aircraft. Pilot. Yeah, hell yes. I'm gonna fly a scimitar class. Medium fighter. With the blue angel squadron. Hell yes, hell yes. I thought it was a promotion. Anyway, here we go. Let's go. Wait, what? Oh, it ain't a promotion, but they're gonna give me a medal. Let's check it out. For meritorious conduct in confronting the Kilrathi enemy in the annual system or on about 2654.110 we are proud to present the bronze star to second lieutenant Donovan your courage is exemplary of the confederation's finest defenders and that's our first medal guys our first one good job Donovan congratulations Thank you, sir. Feel with pride you meet the applause of your fellows. Well guys, that's part one of the review and gameplay for this game. So I am gonna leave you guys right here and um Stay tuned for the second part, and um, you guys know what to do. Turn on your consoles, grab your controllers, and game on!